how important is it to become a vegetarian? Well, you're giving me an opportunity, right, you're giving me an opportunity to talk on behalf of all those that can't talk. All the innocent animals that are put to death every year, every week, every day, so you can eat them. They, are, they don't volunteer to be murdered, but they are murdered daily so you can eat them. And these are beings. And when you find your heart, when you find love, you can't be involved in killing anything. You can only do that when you're not in touch with your heart. And seeing as the goal is to find your heart and be in touch with that always, vegetarianism becomes a must. Because you can't, once you find heart, be involved in the killing of any being. You can't take the life of an innocent so you can eat. It's just not on the cards. But then again, if you haven't found heart, go ahead and do what you must do, you know? <laughs> uh, for me, it was a personal decision. It was just I didn't want to be involved anymore in killing because I'd been a hunter and I'd killed a lot of uh, animals, mostly fish, underwater. But I didn't want to be, I didn't want any blood on my hands. I, it was over. I didn't want to be involved in murdering animals anymore. At the same time, my kids wanted to eat chicken and fish. And so I let them eat chicken and fish because that was their decision. My decision was to be a vegetarian. Their decision was not. I respected that. I respect people that want to uh, be involved in the murdering of innocent animals and eat them. <laughs> I respect them. I just can't be involved in it because I love them. I love, I love them all. I love the cows. I love the sheep. I love the chickens, I love the ducks, I love the snails that eat my plants, I love the grubs that eat them as well, because love is here. And when love is here, the last thing you want to do is be involved in murdering anything. It's so beautiful. From my perspective, it's what's going to save the planet if more people can find love. What's destroying the planet is selfishness which is kind of the opposite to love, really. People who are selfish aren't in touch with their hearts. They can't be. Because when you get in touch with your heart, selfishness goes out the door. You just want to take care of everyone and everything. It's so beautiful. This is the way of the heart. And this was the teaching of Jesus. It was the teaching of Buddha, Lao Tzu. It's the way of the heart is the way. But it's a least trodden path. People prefer to be selfish, taking care of themselves at the cost of others. And this is what's happening to the planet right now. It's being destroyed by selfish leaders. What a shame. If only they could find heart.